the line the line y is equal to 2x plus k is a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 10x k is a constant find the possible values of k so what are they saying these are two circles so this is a circle so let me give you an understanding so this is going to be a circle with center something so let's say the circle may look somewhat like this so it is a circle like this okay the center is going to be phi comma zero okay you don't need to know why but the center is going to be phi comma zero and the line y is equal to 2x plus k you can have a line like this you can have a tangent like this going so this is or you can also have a tangent going like this so there are two lines which are possible which can be tangent to this circle okay I'll show you later on why uh, uh, in graph that this is a circle with center uh, phi comma zero okay uh, hopefully so let's see so what can we do now so when when there's only one point of intersection you should remember only one point of intersection between graph only one point of intersection then your determinant b squared minus 4ac is going to be 0 if there are two points of intersection b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and if there is no point of intersection b squared minus 4ac is less than 0 now it says the line is a tangent so this is going to be 0 so now where did I get this from so what they're saying is this is a tangent to this so there is a point of intersection so I can say well y is equal to 2x plus k and x squared plus y squared minus 10 x is equal to 0 so in place of y I can put 2x plus k so let me use the yellow color so this implies I don't want this big I want it smaller okay so we can say uh, putting w this y, y equal to x plus 2k in this form so I can say x squared plus instead of y, y squared I'm going to write 2x plus k the whole squared minus 10x is equal to 0 okay so here yeah, this expanding this further so this is going to be x squared this is going to be 2x plus k and 2x plus k which is going to be 4x squared plus 4kx plus k squared minus 10x is equal to 0 so now simplifying this further so we can say this is x squared plus x squared is x squared plus 4x squared is going to be 5x squared so let me write the next step like this so this is 4kx minus 10x plus k squared so I want to write in a quadratic form so this becomes 5x squared if you factor the x out can I write this like 4k minus 10 times x plus k squared is equal to 0 now comparing this with uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 which is the standard form of the quadratic equation I can say a is phi b is 4k minus 10 and c is k squared so I can use this in this form so now I can say well I know because there is only one point of intersection b squared minus 4ac is going to be 0 so let me rewrite so I know b squared minus 4ac 
which is a determinant of a quadratic equation is going to be 0. So this is 4k minus 10 the whole squared minus 4 times a which is 5 times c which is k squared is equal to 0. So expanding this further you can do it yourself. So this is going to be 16k squared minus 80k. So to un those who don't understand this, so this is basically 4k minus 10 times 4k minus 10. And that's how I got 16 x 16k squared minus 80k plus 100 minus 80k squared. No, minus 20k squared. Minus 20k squared is equal to 0. So writing in the standard quadratic form, this is minus 4k squared minus 80k plus 100 is equal to 0. Now you can just enter this in the quadratic equation, sorry, in the equation, enter this as a, a is negative 4, b is negative 40, and c is 100, and solve for k. So going to equation, go to equation, polynomial second degree, and enter, I already entered this, negative 4, negative 8, and 100, and solve it. So the two values of k, which will give you a tangent, are, so you can say k is going to be minus 1 point, let me check the answer, minus 1.1803. Is it minus or plus? It is plus. So it is, so I can say k is 1.1803 or k is minus 21.1803. You can do this now to conf understand this graphically, which I like students to understand better, to understand maths. So to write this, in a y x form, can you understand y squared is equal to 10 x minus 10 x minus x squared? So y as a function of x is square root of 10 x minus x squared. So it should be plus or minus. So let me show you this on a calculator. So if you go to graph. So first, so let me delete this and also delete this. So in y1, let's enter shift square root, put this in the bracket, 10x minus x squared. Okay, and then if you enter, you can't see the circle. So if you make it a good scale, so if you go zoom, no. If you make shift, let's go from minus 20 to 20. And on the y-axis, if you go from minus 10 to 10, that will give you the full graph. So this is the circle. Okay. So this is the top bit of the circle. And if you enter y 2x minus, sorry, plus 1.18. 0, 3, that's the top bit. So this is the tangent. So when you have the upper part of the circle, this is the tangent. Okay. And if you change this plus to minus, if you put a minus in front of top, in front of that, enter, you're going to get the bottom circle. So for the bottom circle, the equation changes to instead of plus one point I will put a I'll delete minus twenty one put twenty one and you can see the other tangent. So this is the other tangent where k is minus twenty one point one one eight zero three and for the other one it is one point uh, one point one eight zero see the two possible values of k are plus one point 1 in 0, 3, which is this, this, this 
is minus sorry 1.1803 and this if you extend this technically this is minus sorry minus 21.1803 so these two are parallel because they have the same gradient but the y-intercept changes